Hello, real world prepper here. So, this is my first official video. And uh, if you watched the uh, one minute video that I put up earlier today, the very, the actual very first one, you notice that there might be a slight change from the world prepper to real world prepper. Uh, I think that speaks for itself uh, as to why I would make that change. This is prepping applications and all of the things that kind of go along with that for the real world that we live in, for people that have families and mortgages and jobs and just regular life, you know, to have to uh, uh, tend to and, and go through and enjoy, hopefully, and, and yet still with a mindset, keeping a mindset of preparedness for any and all situations that could occur. I want to say first thank you to my first couple of subscri subscribers. Uh, if you like the content that you're going to see, please subscribe below and hit the little bell notification for uh, to be notified anytime we post some content. Uh, if you enjoy this, uh, not sure about the title of this video. This being my first official one, but I think it's going to be something along the lines of uh, why would I expose myself as a prepper? You know, fair enough question. Uh, loose lips sink ships uh, you've heard before maybe you haven't but the term means essentially that you go blabbing about something uh, that is meant to be you know you go blabbing about preps to the wrong people and then if something does happen and those people haven't prepared then they come looking for you and your preps well um, that's true to some degree, or can be, and I'm, I would imagine in the real world, in a real scenario. But for me personally, I have felt sort of called to be a part of this alternative news, alternative information, this YouTube platform thing that's been going on uh, in the preparedness world for really for some time now, but. Um, I feel like I should offer a voice to that, uh, along with some other great ones. I'm, I'm not going to get into naming any right now. I, I'm subscribed to a few and watch some others, and and I've been inspired by such. Appreciate you guys. I will, uh, as time goes on, if, uh, if this channel grows, I'm definitely going to give you guys some shout-outs and point people in your directions as well, some good content out there. But I have felt drawn to be a part of that. Uh, my wife, actually, who is behind me in uh, my preparedness mindset, doesn't think that this is a good idea, me getting on YouTube to talk about it. And uh, again, I just feel like this is something perhaps that I have been called to be a part of. Uh, if I can wake just one person or one family up in such a way that may help them uh, to survive, to to live another day, should something crazy go down in their lives that alters life uh, as they know it, as we know it, then it will have been worth it. Uh, not to mention, I just enjoy the platform. I feel like I should contribute what I can to the platform. Um, let's first just talk about this. Why? Uh, why would I expose myself? Those are the reasons I would expose myself. Um, Obviously, I'm not going to give away my location or what I do specifically, at least not in this video. Uh, uh, certainly not my location ever, but, uh, you know, we'll get into what I do on down the road, maybe to some degree. Uh, there's lots of things I want to cover uh, on this channel going forward. But uh, first, let's just talk about the reasons why you would want to make preparations uh, or prep anything for yourself and for your family. Um, if they're not obvious, and to many they're not, or they would all, we would all be doing it. Um, but obviously, uh, let me give you an example. Let me start with an example. Back in 1994, in the area where I live, back in 1994 there was a, a, uh, a winter storm that came through early in the year, and uh, it 
covered the area, a very broad area, well beyond the city limits of the big city that, that I live nearby, uh, covered it in ice. I mean inches and inches of ice. I personally, uh, on the outskirts of the storm cell in a more suburban area, had probably six inches of ice buildup on my vehicle. I mean, I couldn't get into that, you know. Uh, overnight, this was overnight, uh, power lines were down. People, people in some areas were without power for, uh, I believe, three weeks, maybe a little better. Um, the average was about two in the general area. And more so than that, I mean, you think about this, you think, oh, okay, well, I'm, I'm, I'm iced in, so I'll call and order a pizza. Well, what do you think the pizza shop is also shut down and covered in ice and you know so everything was shut down there even if uh even if you could get out even on foot there was nowhere to go and nothing to get nothing to have be had um but you couldn't get out you know and and it was really a nightmare for a lot of people and and um so i used that scenario i used that real life scenario which we endured um as a a simple enough basis for preparedness why you should at least have a couple of weeks to a month worth of food and water and you know medicines and uh, uh, you know health products and whatever whatever it is you need uh, to survive whatever you and your family deem necessary to live if you had to close your doors and not come back out how long can you do it for you know that's kind of how I I gauge my progress as far as prepping goes. Um, so anyway, or anything as simple as a uh, as a nice storm, uh, all the way to potentially, uh, you know, more nefarious things. Uh, you know, an EMP, a nuclear strike. Uh, you know, martial law is declared, civil unrest. You get it. All the things you've heard about, all the things that many people would say, ah, that's not going to happen, that's ridiculous. And if it does, the government will come take care of us. Well, you know, really, come on, let's get real. So, uh, so anyway, this is going to be the idea, the general idea of how I want my channel to go. I want to talk about some other things. We're definitely going to do some, some, I hope, some exciting things, some things you're going to enjoy. Uh, interesting topics, tackle them one by one. A lot of stuff, maybe just train of thought, just, just you know, right off the cuff. Kind of how this one is, but I just wanted to introduce it, uh, let you know what we're going to be talking about, why we're going to be talking about it, why I have decided uh, to show my face to potentially the world, and I'm hoping the world's watching and paying attention. Uh, those of you that are on the team, that are taking care of yourselves and your family, uh, kudos to you. There's a community and there should be a community. That's We're not going to get anywhere as a society, as human beings, without a community. And so I appreciate you. I love you guys. Um, as for those who do not think about this kind of thing or have not thought about this kind of thing or have thought about it and scoffed at it, and done nothing about it, I encourage you also to watch some of these upcoming videos as well as look at other channels that are kind of doing similar things and and take it with a grain of salt and just ask yourself the questions. If you had to close your door behind you and take care of your family without stepping foot outside your house, can you do so and for how long? For any reason. And I would encourage you to do the same thing. Protect your family, protect your loved ones, take care of yourself. Uh, you know, don't be a pawn in a bigger game or situation that is beyond your control. At least have a little bit of control, a little bit of peace of mind. That's the attitude where I'm coming from. That is sort of what I'm about in my mind of preparedness. So. All that rambling being said, I'm going to end this video. Please tune in. I hope to have another one posted very soon, hopefully in the next 24 hours. Uh, if not sooner, it very well may end up being 36 hours. I don't know. We'll, we'll actually start to get into some topic-by-topic -topic things. And if you're watching, if you've got any topics you want to talk about, put them in the comments. Uh, I'm, I'm willing to go anywhere. I'm, I'm, this is new to me, so 
bear with me because I'm my heart is willing my mind is still working out the hesitancy but I want to do this I want to do it for you guys um, so help me do it so like share subscribe thank you for watching this video from real world prepper we'll check in with you again soon